Okay, so we ha now have part B from question number six in 2015. So question number six. Um, the magnitude of the reaction at the support at A is R due to a weakness in the support at A. The greatest possible value of R is 2W. Find the least possible value of X. So now, let's just paste what we already have from before. Okay, this is what we have from before. Oops. Let me just try and move this whole thing together. Okay. So this is from part A. So some of these things don't apply anymore. So this doesn't apply anymore. Okay, now what's happened is this is now 2W. And um, of course, X won't be that distance away anymore. Okay, so get rid of this and this. And we don't know. I'll just write here right, right now. This is RB. The situation has changed now. Now, X has to be such that the maximum force or the maximum reaction at A must be 2W. Okay? So X is going to be somewhere now in between A and B, most probably. Okay? So X is going to be somewhere over here now. Alright? So, okay. Everything else still applies. So this is, this is, to, this force was where X was. Okay, that's X away from A. Okay? Now, everything else here I think is the same as before. Alright, so if we now, in this new situation, if we now resolve forces vertically, resolving forces vertically, we know that um, RB plus 2W equals 3W. So, therefore, RB must be equal to W. We know that now. Okay? So, this is equal to W because the forces have to balance out. All right? So, we, we want to know the value of X for which this situation is true. Okay? So, we can actually take moments here about X, about this distance X. Okay? We could do that. Okay? Um, and then that way, we don't have to deal with this force. We can take moments about anywhere we want. Let's take moments about A. Let's take moments about A. That way, uh, we don't have to worry about this force here. So if we take moments about A. We know, of course, it's an equilibrium. We want to show that it's still an equilibrium. And we want to know such that this force here is 2W. Okay, so let's take moments about A. Um, we can say that the clockwise forces are 2W times X. 2W times X. Okay, and this is also a clockwise force, which is plus um, W times 1.5. 1.5L. Okay. And then the anti-clockwise force is going to be this, the, the moments of, of, of the reaction of B about A. So that's going to equal, there because it's in equilibrium, it's going to be W times 2L. That's 2L, that distance. Okay, now we can find what X is. If we now just um, simplify this. So we're going to have 2WX plus 1.5WL is equal to 2WL. So 2WX, oops, 2WX <coughs> is going to be 2WL minus 1.5WL, which is 0.5WL. So X is going to be 0 0.5 WL over 2W. Okay, so you're going to have 0 0.5 divided by 2, which is 0 0.25. So you have 0 0.25L is the value of X, such that the reaction force at A does not exceed 2W. That's the maximum it, re it reaches. Okay, so that's the least possible value of X. It's going to be 0 0.25L. Okay, so there we have 6B answered as well. Okay, thank you for watching.